So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm really happy to have you here today and I think we have a really fun animation. Basically what it is, is this confetti animation that you see off to the side and it was built using React Native Skia. Uh, along with React Native Skia, I'm going to show you another really cool library today called React Native Redash and it's used in order to create the kind of 3D type transformations that you're going to see in this animation. Okay, so that's all for intros. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Please like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a piece of confetti. I'm just going to write in the basic boilerplate here with um, the few items we have from the interface up there. I'm then going to create a group and a rounded rectangle. The rounded rectangle is going to represent um, a piece of confetti. Okay, so I'm also going to get the colors from the color code. Inside the canvas, I'm going to make a temporary confetti piece for now, um, and then we're going to create a bunch of other ones later. So I'm going to start off with just a random X and Y offset just so we can make sure the confetti works, and it does. I'm also going to change the uh, offset ID to a number so it's a bit easier to work with. Okay, so let's try and move this confetti. Uh, we can create a state for that and then just do a run timing. And if we put Y position into the Y for the rounded rect, it should work. And as you can see, uh, it moves as we expect. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is actually rotate this value. And the way that we're gonna rotate this is we're gonna create a computed value. And first we're gonna get the center point of the confetti. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate around the center point of each piece of confetti. This can easily be found by using our offsets and then dividing our heights by two to get the middle. Finally, we're going to create a vec with the center x and center y points. Now what we need to do is create the rotation matrix. The rotation matrix is what's going to actually allow us to rotate things around, and we also want that to change when the y position changes. For now, I'm just going to use some placeholder values of math.random, uh, the reason being because it's a little bit of work to calculate the actual rotations. We're going to use two matrix and process transform 3D from Redash in order to use the CSS type syntax to create our matrix. Finally, uh, we add our matrix to the group. And what you're going to see is that the confetti moves in a pretty crazy, fast and weird way. <laughs> so what we're going to have to do is slow that down. And we can do that using uh, cosine and tangent functions. So I'm going to call this function relative rotation, and it's going to take in the y position and an offset. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually slow down the rotation as the confetti moves. I'm going to perform math.sign on the y position with math.sign, math.pi divided by 540. And I'm going to create another rand that uses cosine and does similar math. And just to make it appear really random, I'm going to say if it's an even number offset, we're going to do one um, rotation, otherwise we're going to do the other. Now I'm actually going to apply that um, rotation function. So I'm going to say y position dot current, and I'm going to round um, the offset ID that we put in, because it's a decimal number. And I'm going to multiply by 2.5, because it seemed like a good constant. It's a bit arbitrary, but uh, made it look really nice. And as you can see, the rotation is um, pretty nice and random there. I'm gonna add a little more randomness here by doing math.random times four, uh, just to make sure that the confetti really has no real pattern that anything's ascribing to. And as you can see, uh, rotates quite nicely. Okay, so the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, create all our confettis and add them to the state. Our pieces array will be an offset array. We're going to loop through the number of confetti. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a starting X offset, which is going to be random along the width and a starting Y offset, which is going to be off the top of the screen. So we're going to use height times three. We're also going to create a random offset ID and we're going to push that into the uh, pieces array. And we're going to use uh, modulus there just so that we can't get a color outside of our range of colors. 
finally, we're gonna add our pieces. Okay, last thing to do is loop through our confetti pieces. And um, just add the values of piece. And now uh, when we save, we get some confetti, but it's a little slow and a little tighter than I would like. So I'm gonna multiply height by three in the run timing and make it a little faster. And there we go. Now if I hit start, you can see all our confetti fall really nicely. All right guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this animation.